Welcome to Secure Single. I am James Bolin, and today I'll be talking about the three most important things for you to focus on in your 20s. When you are in your 20s, the sooner that you learn to focus on yourself, the better you'll be in your life. This will also help you in the long run. In your 20s, you'll experience peer pressure to do things that you may not want to do, but you may go along with it because people who you think are your friends are pressuring you to do something. The most important thing that you can learn during your 20s is to discover what you are passionate about, your strengths, and then a problem that you want to work to solve. Many people will get in your way instead of actually helping you to discover your passions and your strengths in life. College will also most likely be a waste of your time and your money, and also get in your way of discovering a problem that you want to fix in the world. After you discover what your strengths are and what you're passionate about in your life, You can only find out what you are passionate about, what your strengths are, and the problem that you want to fix by starting to focus on yourself. College only sends you through random degree programs and does not help you in any way to go on a journey of self-discovery to learn about yourself. You are responsible for doing that. A college won't help you. Once you answer these three things, Then you have also found your life purpose. So just for review, the three things are, you know what you're passionate about, you know what your strengths are, and you know a problem that you want to fix in the world. And you do this by focusing on yourself. And once you've narrowed down those three things, then you have also found your life purpose. Then the most important thing you can do is to find a way to make money from it and to monetize your passions and your strengths, and to work to find solutions to the problems that you want to fix. While money isn't everything, you do need it to survive, and it can also help you in lots of other areas of your life. First, for some reason today, money and wealth are looked down upon by people and by modern society. The wealthy are thought of as evil or as bad people. This is a poor reflection on modern society and as people in general. Society and school also do not teach you the basics and advanced skills when it comes to managing your money and finding ways to grow your money so that your money can work for you. Without money, or properly it's called currency, the world cannot operate and function. Sure, we could maybe go back to bartering, but that is less efficient than an agreed upon currency that people can trade back and forth and between nations. While everyone may not set out to be a millionaire or to become a billionaire, you need money to live. You can save and use any extra money after paying your monthly expenses to invest. You want to find ways to make your money work for you. You need to find ways to beat inflation because otherwise your money is losing its value just by sitting in the bank, especially now with the low savings rates. Depending on the amount of money that you have at your disposal, there are many ways that you choose to invest. From investing in the stock market, cryptocurrency, real estate, real assets, tangible assets, or possibly even starting your own business. It would help if you found ways to make money, then make your money work for you as soon as you start to make money from your first job. Money is not evil. Money is energy. Money is a tool. You want to learn how to use this tool to help you to achieve your life goals. Where did you spend most of your time in your 20s? How do you think someone in their 20s should focus? Comment below and let me know in the comments below. Second, your health is vital to your overall life experience. 
In a society that pushes junk food, fast food, soda, and unhealthy lifestyles on you, focusing on your health is critical. You can begin by starting a diet. It could be a popular diet like the keto diet, Mediterranean diet, carnivore diet, vegetarian diet, or some other diet that you think you could actually do. There are lots of other diets too, but those are some of the current popular diets. Choose one that suits your lifestyle and your health needs and that you think you can actually practice so that you can keep and maintain a diet. You can then start to exercise. You can go for a walk around your neighborhood. You can go on a hike. Just begin to get outside and to go outside more. And by walking, can get you in shape. Later, you can do faster walks, jogs, or runs around your neighborhood. This is also a great way to get to know your neighborhood better as well. Go to the gym. If you want to lose weight and work to gain strength and muscle, start to go to the gym. You can find a favorite exercise machine and work to lift weights. The combination of lifting weights, cardio, and following a healthy diet will help you to reach your health goals. And being healthy will also help you to reach other goals in your life as you are teaching yourself self-discipline. Third, you can focus on your relationships with people in your life. Save yourself time and focus on developing your relationships with other people in your life, such as your friends and family. You don't need to date or get married to live a meaningful life. Since you are still working to get to know yourself, and self-development should be your primary goal in your 20s. Dating should not even cross your mind. This is especially true for single men. Work on yourself first. Focus on yourself. Build yourself up. Then, if you want to date later, you can make your choice to. But otherwise, no, there's nothing wrong with being single. Work on yourself first. Always focus on yourself first. Then find other people who share your values and have similar beliefs as, as you and who can help improve your life. If you are enjoying this video and you are learning what you should focus on in your 20s, then smash that like button and be sure to subscribe to Secure Single to get more content that will help you to thrive as a single person. And also let me know in the comments below where are you currently spending your time if you are in your 20s? Or how did you spend your time when you were in your 20s? Let me know in the comments below. You may have a few close friends in your life in your 20s. You can use your friends as a way to work to improve your social skills by spending time with whatever number of friends you have when you are in your 20s. However, also don't become overly social. Friends can be an external distraction and prevent you from reaching your goals. Friends can also help to prevent you from getting to know yourself. If you have toxic people in your life, don't hesitate to get rid of them. You can have toxic friends. They are negative energy and only will prevent you from reaching your full potential and from achieving your goals. You don't need to always go out with your friends all the time or to always go out to your favorite bar or restaurant each week to watch a sports game or to just be social to meet people. Only spend time with friends who challenge you and have similar goals as you do. After all, iron sharpens iron. Surround yourself with like-minded people who share similar values as you do. When you're not spending time with your friends, constantly work to focus on yourself. You must know yourself first before you can help others. And friends, they can both help you, but they can also get in your way. So always focus and work on yourself first. And only be friends with people who add value to your life. Family is also important. But the same thing that happens with friends can also happen and does apply to family. Family can also be an external distraction. 
Your family can also become toxic. Family can be more challenging to deal with compared to friends because these family members are related to you by blood. However, family is not perfect, and everyone has their own issues that they must deal with when it comes to family. Family can also help provide you support and help you learn about yourself. However, as with friends and with friendship, while family can be helpful, you must know yourself best and know yourself first. So, focus on yourself first as well. Don't let family or friends prevent you from getting to know yourself. So, focus on yourself. Now it's time for the question of the day. What do you need to focus on the most in your 20s to get where you want to be in your life? Comment below and let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. For more content that will help you to thrive as a single person, you can watch this video or this playlist to learn more about how you can thrive as a single person.